Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Walanda. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys this hairstyle. It's super duper easy. Like if you look at my feed on Instagram and if you're not following me on Instagram, I don't know what you're doing. So follow me on imported underscore chocolates. I do a lot of twists. One, because it's hard for me to do braids on my own hair. And two, it's just quicker for me to do twists. But throughout the years, I realized twists is really hard to stay in my hair. So I went ahead and tried the rubber band method for these twists. This is my first time doing it. I normally just do freehand without the rubber band help. But I actually really, really like this rubber band method because... Your girl could go to the gym and they don't slip out so anymore. I'm actually thinking about going back to yarn twist. I haven't done that in a minute. And I do have a very old yarn twist tutorial. But if y'all want me to do an updated one, definitely let me know if you want to see a tutorial on that. So with that being said, stay tuned to see how I achieve this hairstyle. Alright, so my hair is pretty much three-fourths done. Last night before I went to bed, I went ahead and put everything in rubber bands, twisted it up. So in the morning, the rest of my hair is not dry and hard because it's been out. And it just makes it an easier process for me when I um, start doing the rest of the head today. If you guys want to see me actually do... Um, this part, I will go ahead and do one for you. It's super easy. I just put rubber band in and twist it down. But you know, some people want to see the entire process. So I'm going to go ahead and just undo one. But I can say is my hair is super, super moisturized. So you need to make sure you know exactly how to moisturize your hair for a protective hairstyle. Oh my goodness, my hair feels so soft, y'all. What did I even put for it to feel like? My moisture process right now is on point. Alright, so I have a hard time with like bringing the hair together, like gripping the hair. I'm just not a tight gripper. That's why I need this rubber band method extra step in order for me to do it nice and neat. I've never seen this kind before and it's the black version of the 100 pure Australian beeswax and it's from Murray's. I just got it at my local beauty supply store. But yeah, I'm just gonna put it on the root of my hair for right now. I get my rubber band. Oh, let me make y'all come closer. When it comes to my parting and me doing my own hair, I don't care if it's me at all. It has to be like semi-straight, but it does not have to be perfectly neat, symmetrical. I don't care. I don't care. So I'm just going to rubber band around that section and then I'm going to start twisting it down. I use a little beeswax throughout and towards the end. It is good for your actual hair to keep it intact. So I mean this is not bad and I basically just do that all over. So the hair that I use, I've used this hair before in and I did my full lock. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go ahead and check it out. I'll leave it linked down below or in the video. And it is the, huh, is it this one or is it not? It feels like the same one. It has the same luxury and texture of it. I don't know. So I used the Femi Collection 80 inch Synergleaves Twist Braids. And it's 100% Caligulon. I am not cutting the hair at all. The hair is going to stay 80 inch. I do not cut it at all. Alright y'all, so I actually need to go back to the beauty supply store. So I'm just going to do what I, how much I can with this on camera because this is my last pack. And I purchased 8 packs. So I need to go and probably get, I think, 2 more packs in order to complete this hair. Marley hair is already heavy, so I don't I didn't want to make it too thick where it's too heavy. I didn't want to make a small either. So I think I just got about three strands. With this Femi hair, it's hard to it's not it's not like the other Marley hair, which is rougher. This one is all kind of 
mushed together. It's kind of straighter, so it's harder to separate the hair. I just gaze it, honestly. There's no real technique with this hair because, like I said, it's not quite as separated as other Marley hair. So this is the amount that I got. I just feel it. I don't know. I found a way to do the rubber band method with it staying intact, one, with it looking really, really nice, two, with it not having any knots, three. So I started with the knots and braids on the back. I don't care for the back because, you know, all the front hair is going to be covered over it anyways. So it made the process way easier just to start with uh, braids. But in the front, I definitely want it to look like actual twists and not start off with braids. This is the center. Everything is even at the bottom. It depends where I'm facing. When I was facing this way, I would twist the back part. But when I'm facing this way, it's, I'm twisting the front part. So basically, it's whichever your dominant hand is, is the hand you're going to be twisting. So I get one side, I literally place it, and I place it on the dominant side, the side I'm going to be twisting. I twist it down. For one, I kept this one uh, still. I'm not twisting this. I'm just using this hand to help me twist this better. But the other hand is completely still. Then I go around. I, I keep on twisting. I keep on twisting until you can kind of feel it fold in onto each other, onto itself. And then that's when you have the twist, I think. Before you go anywhere, make sure that it's actually covering the rubber band and not slid down. Like, for example, I will have to redo this because you can clearly see the rubber band is literally an inch away from my hair. And I don't want that. So I'm going to try to do this again without talking so I could concentrate. Let me see if I can talk actually because I want this tutorial to be as helpful as possible but definitely there are going to be times you have to redo it over and over. It is what it is. Let's try it this way. Basically I place the hair up on top of the rubber band okay so basically I'm almost putting the rubber band over like I'm about to like flip it over like I'm about to flip it over like this so to make it tight, I put the hair on top of the rubber band and I twist the side with my uh, what's it, middle finger and ring finger. I help twist and then I go around and I keep this one tight, the one that is connected with the strand that has the rubber band on it and I'm twisting both until like I said it basically folds within each other and then I stop to make sure the rubber band is covered and yes it is you do not see it at all compared to the first time and you basically keep on doing the same thing. It will get tighter and tighter. Make sure your bottom, the bottom of the hair is not um, tangling. Because you don't want that. And basically, yeah. So you keep on going. Yes, it's going to get tighter. At this point, I just use my mouth. I hold on to the hair so it can release some stress on my scalp. And I just keep on twisting down until the end. It looks like you twisted it from the scalp. No rubber bands are showing. So let me show you another one. So I place the hair on top. Bring this around very tightly. Use the space between your middle finger and your ring finger to help twist the other side. This side stays still and I'll twist it. And when you got a good grip on it, you keep on twisting them around until it basically folds within each other. Check to see 
if you see any rubber bands, I don't. So I'm good to go. Make sure your ends are not tying up within one another. All right, so it is currently 11 past 10 a.m. And by now the store should be open. I am going to run to the beauty supply store and get two more packs of hair. That should be enough. Yeah, two more packs of hair to finish up. I'll finish off camera and I will come back on to show you the final results. All right, guys, so this is the final result of the hairstyle. I love it. Yes, Marley hair is super heavy, but with the rubber band method, it definitely helps it stay clean and intact. So all I have to do is, you know, do my little edges when I step out the door, and I'll be set. And these are to last way longer than just doing your hair without the rubber bands because, you know, hair products in your hair, grease, oil all the above your hair gonna be slipping and sliding out and trust me i've had that a lot of times prior to uh starting doing the rubber band method the only thing that's bad about the rubber band method is the fact that rubber bands break so sometimes if your hair is in this style for way too long and your rubber band is starting to lose that elasticity it'll break on you but other than that you're fine. I love it. Finally, you look like somebody because your girls were looking like who daddy? I could not. I hope you guys learned something. I hope this technique was very, very simple. Go ahead and like this video if you think it was very, very helpful. And if you like these type of content, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram at import underscore chocolate. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.